Another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine. Starting this morning off at this Starbucks. Got my coffee back in the car and the whole city is super, super red right now. I don't exactly know what my game plan is. Maybe I can go online now, but I kind of want to get deep up in the middle of that red zone so I can get a really good request. See, today I'm starting off a little bit late. I'm usually already in the city, like six. But this morning, like, I got a little bit extra sleep in. It was pretty nice. I do have a TaskRabbit gig today. But one thing I'm kind of freaking out about that gig is, um, when I was on the bridge coming here, going back to Oakland, they literally had the whole bridge shut down. So there must be an accident or something on the bridge. Hopefully the bridge is open around 10 a.m. Because I'm going to have to take that bridge to go back to Oakland for my TaskRabbit gig. So yeah, that's what uh, that's what I got on the agenda now. Let's go pick up one of these Uber requests. Hopefully I can get a really good Uber request right now. I'm still trying to learn this whole boost surge deal. Certain areas are boost surge, but I've also noticed that within the boost surge, there's also surge pricing. So I'm trying to figure out if you get paid for the boost surge and the surge pricing, because that would, that would be pretty dope. I'm gonna try to get deep up in this boost surge and then go online and hopefully get like a nice, a really nice request. Maybe they wanna go to the airport too. Since I haven't did that many rides today, one long one like that will really catch me up. All right, I'm over here in the marina neighborhood now and the surge is blood red. So uh, if I accept the request and they wanna go to Oakland airport, that is gonna be a very, very long ride. Man, it's quiet right now. I'm in the middle of the 2.5 boost and it's surging three times. Don't exactly know what that means. Oh no, request is coming in. This is a Uber X. This is 3X. We definitely gonna accept this one. Dang, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna go pick this guy up real fast and uh, hopefully they wanna go to the airport. Is that a hotel? No, this is not a hotel. It's gonna be a very, very short ride, but hopefully they want to stay in the surge. 827, just dropped the last rider off, and as soon as I'm getting close to the drop-off location, another request popped up. This request is in the same neighborhood. Um, this is still the 2.5 um, boost area, and it's surging in this area. So I just accepted another request. This pickup is from a hotel. What I'm thinking is, Maybe they want to go to the airport. If they do, this is going to be a really nice airport ride because I can just get out of town, go drop, go take them to the airport, drop them off, and probably just head back to Oakland from there. But yeah, I, I can't wait to see where this one's going. 8.42 a.m., just dropped that last Uber X rider off. Don't know what the payout is on that ride, but I'm not really worried about it now. I've already accepted another Uber X ride. This is a 2.2 surge. This is right around in this area. Now my whole guess with the boost and the surge is you don't get them both. It's whichever one's higher. So in this last ride, it was 3X surge, which is higher than 2.5 boost. So my guess is I would just get the surge. Yeah, right now is the tail end of the 2.5 surge, so I really hope that this one is a good, long, decent ride. Let's go to Oakland. Let's go to the Oakland airport. Come on, you want to fly away? You really want to leave? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's about that time to eat right now. Hitting up Oasis right here. Dang, I've seen that girl like three, four times this morning. 10.07 now, I already picked up my falafel and I'm driving in the direction of the Bay Bridge and I actually see cars moving on the bottom. I don't see many cars, but I see cars moving. So I guess I'm gonna attempt to go back to Oakland. I mean, I have plenty of time to get to this job. Kinda sucks that I have to leave like an hour early to get there on time, but that's just how the traffic is now with this rain and I don't think I wanna keep straight. I don't wanna go right either. It's gonna suck going to Oakland right now either way because of the rain and whatever's going on on the bridge 
Oh, this is gonna be a bummer. Dang, there is literally traffic everywhere. This is gonna blow. It's 10.30 now and I've only moved two blocks. Now it's 10.45 and yeah, there's definitely action on the bridge. I still got no idea how long it's gonna take me to get there. Hopefully I'll get there right at 11, right on time. Because the main thing about the, the traffic in the bridge is you just have to get onto the freeway. Once you get onto the freeway, everything sort of flows, but it's just getting onto the freeway, which is the toughest part right now. And everybody's skipping, like everybody's skipping. So that's just, it's just what you gotta do right now to, to go to the East Bay. This is why it's taking so long. They got these, um, these traffic cops up here. And whenever they have traffic cops up here, everything slows down because people, they don't just do what they normally do, just go crazy all in there and block traffic. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer right now. Yo, that is the best airlines ad ever. It's 2016, don't fly without Wi-Fi. Yeah, they're cleaning up the bridge now. Looks like something spilled. Don't look like a fire because if it was a fire, you would see, you know, fire marks on the, the, the top of the bridge. But yeah, it looks like it was just a spill. And now we're, uh, we're jamming, we're flowing. I'll probably be there in about five minutes. Yeah, right now, no one will pass the cop, but my guess, when he gets off, everybody's gonna just take off, right? All right, just showed up to this test rapid job, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. Um, I just got here, what, 11.05, so I'm gonna run over there really fast so uh, I won't get in trouble for being a little late. There they go, there they go. <laughs> Dang, I just saw a fight, dude. Those people were straight jacking over there. Hope everything all right. I had to pull off and they were just still going at it. Even East Oakland now, I just stopped over at a friend's studio and I was just hanging out there quite a bit after that test rabbit gig. I don't know what I got on the agenda now. It's like around five now, it's rush hour. I kinda don't wanna go to the city. I've already made a little money doing Uber already today. Maybe I'll just do Uber Eats in, uh, in Oakland and see how that goes. That might not be so bad. Just do a little bit of Uber Eats in Oakland. Back at the house now. I already changed clothes. It is time to chill. It's time to chill. Today, I went out and did Uber. I didn't do Uber as much as I thought I was going to do. I kind of woke up a little late. And it is super busy out there right now. Right now, it's 6 o'clock on a Friday. And it's super busy in the city. You know, I, I would go out, but I'm just going to chill. Like, Today has been a pretty busy day. I flipped some stuff on Craigslist, made some money off of that, made some money off of Uber this morning really, really early. Uber Eats has definitely come a long way from when it first started. I remember a year ago when Uber Eats started, like it was in like this church parking lot. Drivers would drive to the restaurant, pick up the food from the restaurant, bring it to the church parking lot, and then other drivers would pull up and you know, this driver would get, you know, chicken sandwiches. This driver over here would get some other dish. This driver over here is gonna get salads. This driver over here is gonna get orange juices. And you know, whenever people request through the app, you know, it would route this driver to go over there and drop off that falafel and this driver to go over here and drop off this juice or whatever. But now, it's like so much better. Like things have come a long way. now. Cancellations are still a little iffy and it's really difficult to get a hold of someone if you ever get in trouble. And what I mean by get in trouble, like if you show up to a customer's house and you can't get a hold of the customer, I mean with on Caviar and on Postmates and on DoorDash, you can just call customer support. Like it's it's simple. You can you can text them and they're gonna text back. On Uber Eats, I don't know, the support is not so great. It's not like built into the app, like it's built into other apps. I mean, maybe there is a way that you can call, but I haven't figured it out and I don't know anything about it as of now. So question for you guys, what do you guys think about Uber Eats and what is it like in your market? Like, is it is it busy in your market? And I was watching one YouTuber earlier and she said she makes more money delivering food than she does people. And I don't know, I'm kind of curious about that. I was thinking about that the other day and I was thinking, well, okay, let's compare and contrast. And let's say I pick up someone in the financial district and it's a 3X surge and they want to go to the airport. Well. I'm probably gonna make more money off of that ride than if I did, you know, a 3X surge on Uber Eats. And I guess the main deal breaker is 
you can get back from the airport faster than you can deliver food in the city within that hour if that makes any sense so for example it's 5 p.m. and you pick up someone in downtown and it's a 3x surge you take them to the airport let's just say you get there in 30 minutes I don't know how you did that but and for this example you get there in 30 minutes and then you you rush back downtown so you spend an hour but let's say that trip the payout was 50 bucks well let's compare and contrast that with food delivery you're probably not gonna make $50 on food delivery. I wanna say the big difference is on rides, you can sort of still make more money because I don't know if you really make more on food delivery versus rides because you also gotta think, you know, you can hit traffic, gas, there's just a lot of other factors, but I don't know. Next.